Hey there, I'm Justin Grizzle with the Gold Tone Music Group, and today we are excited to bring you a new banjo line that we've uh, come out with. And sitting here is Chris Pariso. He's our shop luthier down there, and uh, he's really helped us design and bring this project uh, to the forefront. And uh, Chris, tell us a little bit why this project's personal to you. Well, High Moon, man, I've been working on High Moon for 10, 12 plus years now. Um, I used to build them by hand um, uh, after work, and um, I came up with really good ideas. Um, but some ideas didn't work all that great, sure. but that's okay. So I, I took all the good ideas from one, carried it to the next. All the good ideas from that one, carried to the next. And on and on and on until I just had a whole pile of good ideas. So um, I started designing this guy, the HM100. Okay, we also have an HM100A, by the way. Um, and uh, this is a culmination of 10 years of ideas. Cool, and when you say building, you were actually from block, from oh, chunks yeah. of wood, you were oh, scraping yeah. down yep, the necks yep, and designing yep. and yep. Yeah, tirelessly cool. shaping them. Oh, I remember you staying after work yep, and, yep. and putting them together and they're very cool. Let's, um, let's just talk about the features of this one because it's so unique. It's, it, I mean, it looks like a banjo because it is a banjo, but there are just really some unique features of it that you, when you get close up, you see. Um, Standard stuff like our GT Master Planetary mm -hmm. Tuners. Yep. We do have a zero glide nut, um, but this neck feel right here, just holding it and feeling it. I mean, yeah. it feels so comfortable. Mm -hmm. and It really feels um, it, it feels V-ish, but not well, super it's a, V. It's a modified V. Okay, so uh, essentially, the shoulders aren't as uh, concaved as they usually are on a lot of V-shaped necks. All right, so uh, essentially, it's a more contemporary V-shaped neck. Cool. Still, still thin line. That's right. So for That's speed, right. very comfortable. Um, the scoop is—I've never seen an angled scoop like that. I think it's super cool. Do you get the extra notes here? Is that one of the yeah, reasons? Yeah, yeah. Um, you still have the octave. Um, uh, we've seen S curves in in the sure. past, but um, it's just kind of a, a unique shape, and you have plenty of room for your thumb and plenty of room to play on the high here, and um, the harmonic is just right perfect cool now this particular one is a prototype just so no one's confused right. the a scale over here is actually what the production model is and will look like for the full scale it'll have the moon the ebony and maple moon uh, inlaid into the headstock and at the 12th fret yeah. it'll have the little moon there um, for the signature high moon yep that's right uh, okay so scoop tuners zero glide the v-shaped neck uh, let's move to the pot here, yeah. the, uh, the tailpiece. Okay, so this is a modified gold tone tailpiece. Um, essentially, these posts um, uh, coming out the back here that the loop um, uh, loops around, sure. um, they are long enough to accommodate for nylon strings, if you so inclined, nylon strings. Very cool, yeah, and the, the quick change, easy change. That's right, very easy Loop change. strings. Um, the uh, shoe lugs do not look standard. They look unique. No, nope, no. Nope. Those, we call those the pawn lugs. Okay. Very okay. cool. Yep, yep. And they function just like a shoe lug, but they're way cooler. Yeah, they're way cooler. And I like the nut inside yeah. there. Little nut and washer. Very neat, sharp looking. Um, the counter hoop, 14 That's instead right. of 24. That's right. 14. Yeah. Yep, yep, yep. So, yeah, our other 12 inch, the uh, BC350, mm -hmm. has 26 actually. 26. And um, you don't need that many for a really, really low tuning for a more traditional uh, feel and a more traditional sound. And what do you have the head tension to here on uh, the drum? About dial? 81 ish, 82. Okay. So, pretty low. Pretty okay. low. Very cool. Um, I know, you know, some of the older old time banjos had a lot of hooks and that had to do with the fact they were using real skin that's heads right, and needed right. to always have that tension for as they'd stretch. But with the Mylar, um, they seem to hold pretty well even yeah, with the yeah. lesser yeah, we're hooks. Yeah, we're shipping it standard with a uh, Remo Renaissance um, uh, high collar, I believe. Yeah. Cool. Uh, standard bridge height? That's right, 5'8". Maple, ebony cap. Mm -hmm. um, Little Mountain Arms, uh, little yeah? Little Mountain, yep, yep, yep. So Little Mountain's pretty cool because it hovers over your tension hoop. I mean, you can raise it up high, you can put it, slam it all the way down, um, but it's super comfortable 
and like I said, you can hover it over the tension hoop so it's not going to mute your rim. It's not going to cause um, your weight of your forearm to mute the rim either. So yeah, it, th those things are really cool. And it has the two independent that's right posts, posts yep. here so that you can actually raise and lift it. And mm -hmm. so they're not connecting anything. It's that's, yeah, right. that's a really that's good right. design. Uh, let's move on to the heel. What I like about the heel, for one, it's got this hourglass shape. That's it's, right. It's really yep. cool. It's got the, the maple cap and um, great connection with the rim. And there's a lot of meat there to That's connect right. with the rim. That's Why right. is that important? Well, there's two hanger bolts, okay? okay. Um, and essentially both of those hanger bolts travel through the rim and we have a nut just connecting the bottom one. And the outside one is essentially, this is a coordinator rod, okay? With a um, piece of maple on the outside of it, but because that's there, you can adjust this thing and take it apart and do whatever you want to with it by hand. I mean, you can loosen that thing by hand. It's, that's very cool. You just loosen the nut yep. there, right? And it's super secure. And you can make any mm -hmm. minor adjustments that's if right. needed. That's yeah, right. and there's yep. uh, the wood on wood contact and the wood on wood contact. That's Seems right. Seems like there's a lot of transfer yeah, energy. Yeah, there here. is something to be said about, you know, something to be said about the wood to rim to net contact right here. Very cool. Very cool, big heel. Yeah, I like that. Um, what I do notice here is that you have a lot of connection underneath, but at the fingerboard, you actually have left a bit of a space, about a millimeter or so, that's right, that's right. between the tension hoop and the end of the fingerboard. Why is that? Well, it allows the tension hoop to, to really just kind of uh, carry the warmth from note to note. Um, there's no muting going on. I mean, I, with, with old time banjos, you really don't want a whole lot of sustain. Of course not, because it's all about the cluck. It's all about the cluck. But um the um <laughs> it, it essentially it allows your whole pot and your whole rim to just ring with the notes and it's it acts as a mute so no mute all ring gotcha yep. okay cool um yeah so this is really it's really a beautiful piece the vintage brown finish with yep. the maple accents the maple cap is beautiful um the armrest is super cool and functional mm -hmm. so everything on here to me it seems like it's really a player's banjo. It, seems it like really is. Yeah. I mean, it only weighs six pounds, so I mean, it's super light. Super light, cool. Okay, well, we look forward to um, hearing you play this a little bit. And so we have the standard scale length, which is? 26.188. Okay, and then the A scale. Which is 23 and a half. 23 and a half. They will ship with a nice hard shell tweed case. Well, mm, we don't want that yep, to fall yep. over. Um, and they'll be available sometime late February, early right. March. Yep, yep. Okay, very cool. Yeah, we're real excited. Uh, yeah, find them. Check out www.goldtone.com. We'll put a link uh, in the subject here. You can check it out. And good stuff, Chris. We appreciate you sitting in. Cool.